Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Nolly. Welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Today is April 2nd. We are still in quarantine, unfortunately, and um, I think it was yesterday or two days ago that Trump said that the quarantine is going to be extended. I'm not sure if Austin has like officially extended the shelter in place, but I'm just trying to push through and I know it could be so much harder and I was thinking about doing like a video about just like my feelings about all this or if I should just include it in this vlog. I don't know, maybe I'll wait till tomorrow, but I just know that people have it so much worse than me and I just wanted to say that I'm so thankful and grateful for having a job right now because I literally just got my job. So I'm just like thinking about how it could have been and it would have been if I didn't have this job. It is just such a weird time and everything is just getting crazier, I feel like. Enough of that, I don't wanna to talk too much about it. Today, I'm gonna to do as the quarantinians do. I am going to dye my hair and it's not gonna be any crazy color or anything like that, but you guys have probably seen my video if you guys have been subscribed since then. I think I got my hair dyed or balayage in, I wanna say February or no, not March. I think like early mid February. It's currently thundering outside, so don't mind that sound. But I am stupid and I still have not bought blue shampoo, which my hairstylist told me to do when he did it. And just, I feel like it definitely lightened up, which I don't mind, but I feel like it's definitely gotten a little bit brassy. I got this John Frieda Color Refreshing Gloss. I honestly didn't even know what a gloss does, and I don't think it did anything that helpful to my hair. There's like just like highlights that are a little too yellow for my liking, so I want to get rid of that. I bought like a small little bottle of blue shampoo, but Funny story, I bought some stuff from Ulta.com. They're having like their 21 days of sales and I bought a MAC lip liner. I love the shape cork, so I bought that one. I decided to add on a blue shampoo to my order and it finally got delivered today. So I was like, oh, it's weird. I like didn't get a text from my um, Amazon hub lockers at my apartment or it's not in front of my door. And I go and look and it's delivered to my sorority house back in Orlando and <laughs> my dumb ass like i really need to delete all my addresses because i have my sorority house my mom's house my dad's house this apartment my apartment from freshman and sophomore year so like five addresses just like saved in my mac history so that needs to change and i need to like go in and delete all that um so yeah i got sent to my sorority house and i honestly was just like okay it wasn't that much money obviously everyone is kicked out of um student housing at ucf because ucf is online now um and so i was just like okay no one's there like whatever i'll just like let it sit there i guess but luckily my house mom is still there and she texted me and she was like hey like your package is here and i was like ah uh, yeah so she's gonna send it to me which is really really sweet of her so yeah long story short i'm getting that blue shampoo but today i thought i would just like try and like dye my hair a little bit darker and just like leave it on for not as long as they say and maybe just like it would get a little bit darker i don't even know how this stuff works because i don't dye my hair and this is like well this is the second time i've dyed my hair in high school i got ombre and it was horrible and i did not know what blue shampoo was back then and my hairstylist didn't tell me what it was and so my hair was literally actually orange so this isn't half as bad as what it was in uh, high school but honestly i just want to try to keep it as ashy as i can not like i'm seeing anyone but i just thought i have the time so i am gonna try to use this revlon color silk beautiful color in the shade brown black um and i thought this would just be like kind of like an ashy color this was literally like five dollars at cvs so I don't know if I should be like skeptical about it. Honestly, like a lot of the hair dye was very affordable and cheap and I just like don't know why. I think I was expecting it to be like 20 bucks, but it was literally $5. I don't know if that's normal or whatever, but why don't we just do a CVS haul? Because I literally went in there just needing hair dye and I walked out with like nail supplies and all that shit. I haven't worn falsies in forever. I was honestly getting better, but then I was kind of getting like more addicted to wearing them and I just felt like I needed my lashes to breathe and just to grow on their own so I kind of took a break but then I saw these lashes and I decided to get them again because I don't think I have any lashes here um and these just look so good when I'm taking photos and just being like on camera and like filming like my main videos or just 
TikToking. I don't know. Follow me on TikTok. These are the Wispies from Ardell, and they look like this. I really like the style. Um, this was, I want to say, like twelve dollars for five pairs, which is pretty good because you can reuse them quite a bit. I feel like everyone is dealing with the same issue right now of their nails looking like shit because they either had gel or dip on them before like all the nail salons shut down. And yeah, I had dip on mine, so I had to take them off. I didn't have a buffer, so I decided to get a buffer. This was like maybe $3. And then I wanted to try like a nail situation. So this is the Kiss Acrylic Nails. And I never had like acrylic nails, and I don't know if this is actually like the same deal as like the nail salon ones, but I just thought these would be cool to try out. Then I decided to treat myself with another nail polish, which honestly I didn't really need any more nail polishes because I have a giant gallon bag like stuffed with them, but I feel like all my nail polishes are so either updated or like dried up. So this one is from Essie. It's their like quick dry collection. This is the color Busy Bee Line and it's just kind of like a nude neutral. So I'm excited to try that out because I do not have the patience for regular nail polish. This is the next thing I got. This is a brow pencil. I forgot how much I love this LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. It is just the perfect like um consistency it's not too dry it's not too like creamy but i love this one and i got it in um the brunette color because i don't really want to do black it's just a little too extreme for me so that is my cvs haul i need to read these instructions about the hair dyeing thing because i literally have no clue how to do any of this so wish me luck y'all Good morning y'all, happy Friday. Today is my day off. If you guys don't know, I work a part-time job, so 30 hours per week, and I only work it Monday through Thursday, so I definitely appreciate Fridays a ton more. When I didn't have a job, well, didn't have a boss because I was working for myself, I just was so lazy, but now my Fridays, I feel like are way more productive. So today I wanna get ready, get into some actual clothes, and oh, I have quite a bit of packages to open up too and I also have some home decor updates to share with you guys and I'll probably like film um us putting up some like picture frames that I just got in the mail I don't know if I said this in our vlog but our AC is currently broken so um we have all the windows open so that's why you can hear the birds chirping so clearly right now I'm going to go pick up some summer moon it is a really good coffee shop here in Austin and they make this like moon milk that they're known for it's just like really sweet milk and it's like kind of thick I don't know how to really describe it but it's so good so if you come here definitely have to try it out um but I'm gonna just put on some like face cream or face lotion really quick because I just washed my face and I need some moisture. I think I'm just gonna go with this, The Future Do by Glossier. I'm slowly running out of my face oil that I love so much and I need to order more, but for now this will do. I also am gonna show you guys a hair update once I do my hair for the day, but this is pretty much it. As you can see, these like highlighted pieces are just like more brown and I wish they were like more ashy, but they are kind of just like that like mocha color, I don't know. I don't really love that. Once I get my blue shampoo, hopefully it turns out a little bit better. Now I'm gonna go get changed and put on some pants because currently I'm just like living in big t-shirts all day, every day, which is probably really bad, but it's just so easy and so comfortable. This is the outfit of the hour. Got my express shorts on. I don't know if these like stars are like weird or cute and trendy, I don't know, but I just really like the fit of these shorts, so I find myself wearing them all the time now. And this sweatshirt I got from the UCF bookstore. I got the goods, y'all. I actually got mine without ice because I feel like I need to eat something first, and 
um i wanted to put it like in the freezer to just like make it cold on its own because it gets so watery so quick so i just got it without ice i'm back home and i just put my coffee in the fridge just because i wanted to get cold and i'm not really like feeling it right now i'm just gonna wait till i get actually get tired and like need it um but now i'm gonna do some unboxings because i have purchased like some home decor during this quarantine because I still have yet to decorate this place. And what's funny is that I don't even know if we're staying here, which is really sad because I really like this apartment, but we just both wanna be closer to downtown Austin. But I mean, we still really like this place and I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if we stay, we'll see if we like move. The biggest reason why I don't wanna move is because we would have to like actually move our stuff. And that was literally like the worst thing because we moved right in the middle of June and it was so hot. We live on the third floor without an elevator. It was just not it. So if we do move again, like I really hope we can afford some movers. We honestly don't have that much time to um, like tour any places because obviously this whole quarantine thing is going on and everything's shut down so we can't go and tour them so we can only tour them over like virtual videos and stuff which sucks because it's just not the same. For the first box I got these little um, white shelf things. I just want to decorate like my desk area so I wanted some shelves to put some picture frames on so I got those. If we were to move out of this apartment our move out date would be like June 14th or something. And you guys are probably like, then why are you decorating your apartment if you're gonna move out soon? I feel like every time I have an apartment, I decorate like eight months in and then like I do bare minimum. And then I'm just like, okay, like why should I even try to decorate it more if I'm just gonna move out? And it really just sucks to have that mentality because like you wanna love your home and like, decorate it all nice so i'm just gonna go ahead and decorate it and we'll see how this shit plays out this next box is from gt's kombucha i think i tried kombucha once but i really can't remember what it tasted like because it was like literally the smallest amount of kombucha but they sent over this box filled with kombucha um this is the watermelon wonder flavor i wonder if it's all this flavor okay yeah it seems like it's all this flavor which is good because I feel like this is a flavor I'd probably like. So that's gonna be really interesting to try. I should probably put a few of these in our fridge, but our fridge and freezer, that's another thing. If we do move, I really hope they have a really big or a little bigger than this freezer slash fridge. Our freezer is like a literal like high school locker. It's so small and doesn't fit anything, especially with this quarantine. Like I wanted to stock up on a lot of food, but I just feel like I don't have much space to put it. Now I realized why my parents had a second fridge in their garage and it's because all these drinks like they need places to go to and especially like all the alcoholic drinks and stuff. They are taking over my fridge and I don't even drink that much. That is like so annoying. And I'm thinking about getting a bar cart, but then I'm just like, it's kind of just like random sometimes. I don't know how I feel about it. So we're, we're slowly decorating, like I said. So the next thing I ordered was a poster from Vistaprint. I actually um, bought it. Ugh. I bought the print on Etsy and then I got it printed at Vista Print. And it's just like a beach photo. It's really like desaturated and very like neutral tones. It was actually a set of pictures. So basically this has like one side of the cropped picture and then the other side will like look like it's like seamless going through it, but it's gonna be in two separate picture frames if that makes sense. This is the picture frame. And it's just kind of like a light wood texture around the edges. It definitely feels like cheap. It's not real wood. I don't think it's probably plastic, but it'll do. <laughs> and I think it matches pretty well to our headboard. So that's exciting. So I got my frame set up, but I'm gonna wait for Ryan to get off work. It's currently on the couch working um, to help me put them up in our bedroom. This is what it looks like in the frames. It is almost 1 p.m. and I actually just wanted to show you guys my hair because I'm just at that point in the day where I'm just like, okay, today's not going to be a makeup day. It's not going to be a content day like I planned. Um, I think I'm just going to do like a lot of computer work today because that's what I'm feeling like doing. Um, and I just wanted to quickly show you guys my hair. It honestly looked like not that great last night, but today it's not horrible. I just feel like it's really spotty. 
as you can see, <laughs> like the end didn't really get that much dye and I, I was just being stupid. I feel like I just didn't really evenly put it on my hair. Um, but honestly, it really just doesn't look horrible. Right now I have this setup right here. I'm watching YouTube videos on my iPad. I'm going through all my past sessions. If you guys didn't know, I am a photographer and a videographer, but um, I haven't been posting on my photo account because I don't know, with everything going on now, that's not even a good excuse. <laughs> I just like, I'm just so lazy and I don't post on the photo Instagram. Um, but also with everything going on, it's just like, should I be promoting it? Cause it's not like people are gonna like contact me to book a session right now. But I thought might as well take the time to at least like put it into my Instagram layout app. Um, I use the app called Better, B-E-T-T-R. And just kind of like, put it all together for when it is ready to just post um, so that I could literally just hit one button and be done or maybe come up with a caption later on. I just feel like I'm really bad at keeping up with that Instagram and there are literally so many sessions that I have not posted on my Instagram and they're like amazing sessions and I'm just being like so dumb about it. Also, I forgot to tell you guys that I did my nails last night with those like acrylic things and I painted it and I'm kind of sad because the color in CVS looked a lot more nude in the bottle, but on my nails, it's literally like a yellow. It was not the vibe I was going for, but like it's fine. Um, I'm going to show you guys this hand because it's it's my good hand. Um, so basically, I just like cut and filed these down and then painted them. I personally think they look really good. Like I'm not the greatest at painting my nails. I'm proud of them and hopefully they last kind of a long time. And if they don't, I still have like a lot more of the acrylic ones. And plus it was only $5 so I could literally get another one if I um, needed to slash wanted to and just like paint another color, which I'll probably do because I don't think this color is like my color, but it's okay. No one's really gonna see it. I would. It was just kind of like for me and for my like eyes to see just that I had my nails painted. Also, I already drank my summer moon and now I'm so full that we ordered Chipotle when I was hungry and now it's here and now I'm not hungry because I feel like coffee just fills me up. So I guess I'll be eating that later. Like I said, our AC is not working right now and we told the maintenance people, which our apartment is so good about like maintenance orders or ticket ticket orders. I don't know what it's called. Um, they come like literally the same day. They're awesome. But um, they just put like a little AC unit in our apartment um, for now because apparently they can't go check the HVAC. I don't even know all of these terms, but apparently they can't go check it out because it's like raining and it's going to be raining for the next like week. So currently we have this big giant thing in our living room. You want to explain what happened? Cause I don't even know. Um, so our AC like, isn't it's not blowing cold air. It's mm -hmm. blowing a work chair. So I was put a service request in, and they brought this like window unit that giant duct taped in. Oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> that's funny. So they'll be back Monday. Okay. It like, looks like a mini fridge. Leak on, like, the oh, it's gonna so. leak. Oh my god, it feels so good. <laughs> Do you not like the AC, man? I literally just went through all of my Lightroom photos and pulled like the best ones that I haven't posted yet on my photo Instagram. And so I ended up with about like almost 200 photos, but obviously some of them are similar to each other um, because on my photo Instagram, I do like three in a row of the same session so they can like somewhat look cohesive. That should last me like a really long time, which I'm really excited about, but now I have to like group them together and actually put them in the Instagram layout app. But I wanted to take a break. It is currently 3.18. And I'm still not really hungry, I don't know why, but I decided to try the kombucha and do a little taste test for you guys. So this is what we have today. This is the GTS or GT's Synergy Organic Kombucha, the Watermelon Wonder flavor. Let's see, I really hope I like it. I don't know. <gasps> Babe, did you know it was so trying? What is in there that makes it do that? It's really not that bad. It tastes like... It tastes like what red wine vinegar smells like. Does that make sense? It's very interesting and I think it definitely takes an acquired taste to like 
kombucha. I'm gonna try to sip on this the rest of the day and see if like my taste buds warm up to it. Um, but comment down below if you guys like kombucha and like what your favorite flavors are and like how long did it take you to adjust your taste buds to it? Cause I mean, it's not horrible. I feel like the first time I tried kombucha, it was like not watermelon flavored and it was, it was interesting and weird, but like everything, you just have to like adapt your taste buds. So we'll see. It is Wednesday, April 8th, and I wanted to close out this vlog because I guess I forgot to even show these beautiful picture frames, so I wanted to do that really quick. This is what our bedroom looks like now. We obviously have everything the same, but the only thing that changed are these picture frames. We didn't have anything up there before, and I can see that that one is a little bit tilted right there, <laughs> and I feel like it just looks a little bit plain still, so I don't know if I need to like put something there or here or what, but please feel free to give your suggestions down below. I would really appreciate any help because I'm not the best interior designer, I'll, I will say. I think I'm gonna make it a thing to put on makeup like at least three times a week and, and do something like creating content because that's literally what makes me happy. It makes me feel normal. So today I'm gonna be filming a video that somebody actually requested. I literally got so excited about the video that I started writing down all these bullet points to talk about in the video. Um, but if you guys have any video requests, please, please, please leave them down below. Help a girl out. Sometimes my creativity is just not there. And tell me what videos you guys are obsessed with watching right now, whether it's morning routine or a quarantine routine or like what I eat in a day. I still need to do that, but like right now is not the healthiest. So I don't know if you guys even want to see that, but just let me know, video requests down below. Also, update on the nails. One came off of this hand and one came off of this hand and I think it's almost been like a week. So I need to be more gentle with my nails, but honestly, like I said, I don't really love this color anyway, so I don't really care. I kind of want them to all come off so I can redo them and like paint them in a whole different color. But that is it of this vlog. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.